by to talk to you about. They're going to crash. So, huh? <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. You meant to blow them up? Of course. Why else would a grown man play with trains? <laughs> Want to blow the other bridge? The Adams Family. It's a cultural icon. And while I enjoyed the Wednesday series with the newer portrayal of Gomez, admittedly, I do wish we got to see a bit more of him. We just might have had the chance to see Trainwreck, any man's favorite pastime. Now, if you're anything like me, you grew up watching the 90s movies and eventually found out there was a black and white TV show. And in that show, we see this pastime quite a bit instead of the one time we see it in the movie. This set is a classic, it's iconic. So today I thought it'd be fun to not only talk about the set we see, but the engines we see running and exploding on it. Keep in mind, O-Scale is not my specialty, so I'm relying a lot on my sources here. I'll have everything in the description in case you guys want to take a closer look though. And now, enough talking, let's start with specifics. Track-wise, we can see a large use of Lionel Super O-Track. This is also probably a Lionel factory display layout, so we can estimate the size is roughly 5 by 9 feet. There's a lot of accessories visible as well, like automatic crossing gates, girder bridges, trestle sets, and much, much more. That's not really the highlight for me though, and admittedly it's a bit harder to verify exact numbers on accessories. So instead, let's take a look at the real treat. Watch it! So, the engines you just saw explode in a wonderful blaze of glory are the m st LGP7, a Black & Santa Fe EMD F7A, and a Lionel Lines number 2037-264 steam engine that oddly doesn't have a tender. Fun fact, this explosion scene is used in basically every episode. They never made a, another one as far as I know. Probably because they didn't want to keep buying more trains, uh, understandably. We don't just see these engines on the layout, though. In another episode, we see Morticia join Gomez, this time in operation of a F7A pulling three coaches. In yet another episode, we see a very uninterested Pugsley join Gomez who is unable to blow up the bridge. We do get a good look at the GP7 and F7A engine as well before they also collide in a beautiful, familiar explosion. That's pretty much all we got of the first layout though before an entire new one was introduced. Now, as we can see, the track and equipment used aren't exactly the same as before. The track plan is also simplified with a figure eight inside of an oval with two tracks not connected and surprisingly uses tubular track this time. There are also some changes to the consist, such as the passenger train, which sees a Santa Fe Alco FA with a coach, dome car, and observation coach. On the closer track heading the freight train is a Lionel Lines number 237 Scout 242 engine, thankfully this time with a tender. And also, thankfully, the explosion scenes carry on from the first season as well, and the first layout. In one of my favorite scenes, we even see Thing get to operate the layout, through using a knife switch to supply the power. I guarantee I'm missing something, but that is the long and short of the Adams Family layout. Or at least my favorite one, the 1964 version. If you guys would ever like a video on the 90s Adams Family movies, or maybe other trains or layouts we see in television, be sure to comment down below and let me know if you have any recommendations. Alright, all that being said, it's January and I'm already feeling spooky. Um, shout out to my patrons for making videos like this possible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe for even more train content. And with all that being said, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. That came out of my d either 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 subscribe donate or get the fuck out